Hi, I'm Darren Arbor, Head Professional at Halifax West End Golf Club. We're back on the course today with our rule scenarios. We've got two situations which is affected by the no play zone on our 14th hole. What are our options? It's time to call the referee. So I've not hit a particularly good tee shot off the 14th tee, but the golf ball's not in a bad position. But I've just noticed there's a, there's a white line here, and I know it's a no play zone, but balls on the golf course, and I'm standing in the no play zone, I'm not sure if I can play it, so what I think I'll do is I'll, I think I'll call in the referee. Hi. Okay, what, uh, what's the situation here then? What? So, golf ball is outside the no play zone. Correct. But I'm stood inside it, so right. am I able to still play the shot even though I'm stood inside the no play zone? Well, unfortunately, with it being a no play zone, you must take full relief for live ball which which you've got relief there but also for stance and area of intended swing so you must come outside the no play zone you must stand outside the zone to play to play the shot so, so we, mark yeah just mark first. your ball for yeah. reference pick your ball up and then just come and stand outside that's it where we're not getting interference from the line that's it that's your nearest point of relief so we'll have a tee peg down there and then you can drop within one club length of that tee that's it so providing we're not standing or touching the line with our feet that ball is now in play that's it you've taken full relief perfect so we're in another situation here where the golf ball is outside the no play zone which is just behind us here I'm stood outside the no play zone but when I swing back I'm hitting a tree above me I'm not sure if I'm allowed relief from that because obviously the golf the that is overhanging the golf course so it's it's within the no with outside the no play zone so I'm not sure if I can get relief from that one I think the best thing to do is to call in the referee. Hiya. Hi Dave. Up. So, obviously I'm not in the no play zone. Correct. That yep. is absolutely spot on. But yep. on my back swing, right. that tree's yep, I can in see your that. swing. So, am I, even though, am I allowed to have a drop? Because, you know, it is over on the, yep. on the golf course. Yep. But um, obviously, with it being over the golf course, you know that that's in play. Isn't it? Yep. Anything rooted in ground under repair, or in this case, a no-play zone, anything overhanging on onto the course, you can get relief. So in this case, you will get relief for your area of intended swing. I know your stance and ball are well are well outside the no-play zone, but anything growing within the no play zone overhanging you're entitled to uh, get relief so we'll just come so do you mark the position mark the ball again not uh, not essential but it just gives you a nice reference and just come and stand i think it's just out towards me i think that's going to be uh, yeah you still, still yeah i think your nearest position it even on the follow through if it touches the anything rooted within the area you will be penalized so we're here. going to be fairly generous in this situation so that looks okay to me yeah so we'll have a club yeah that looks okay and then you'll be statutory one club length from uh, from there and that's no nearer the hole so the further I can get out obviously the better Absolutely, take advantage when you can. Ball dropped in the drop in the drop zone or relief area, ball in play. I found that really interesting. I wasn't aware about the overhanging tree. I thought I would have had to play it, so when I get into a no play zone situation, which hopefully is not very often, <laughs> um, that I'll be able to take relief um, in the right way. Yep, 
Um, I hope that's been informative. No play zones on golf courses are not very common, but there's always one or two scenarios that might trip trip you up. So, uh, as I say, I hope it's been been useful. Thank you. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's content, and we look forward to welcoming you on our next video.